Oh, y'all thought I was done? Nah, I want all the smoke. See, I'm not a hater of any people, but the fact of the matter is, the same Jewish community that labels many of us in the black community as anti-Semitic have a long history of anti-blackness that they don't want to acknowledge. Let's get into it. Rabbi Milton Grafman from the Temple Emanuel Synagogue in Birmingham, Alabama. This devil is quoted as saying, the lives of 1,000 Negroes are not worth the hair on the head of a single Jew. But brother Joshua, didn't Jews help us with the civil rights movement? That's a good question. Dr. Martin Luther King's advisor, Bayard Rustin, said while speaking at the conference on Negro-Jewish relations in the United States, held in May of 1964, and I quote, I am here to tell you that the Jews in the South are playing no creative role in the civil rights struggle. That's what he said, I'm just relaying it. But brother Joshua, didn't Jews help abolish slavery though? Let's look into it. According to the American and Foreign Anti-Slavery Society in their report of 1853, oh yeah, we going back, baby. I quote, the Jews of the United States have never taken any steps whatsoever with regard to the slavery question. The American Jews have two newspapers, but they do not interfere in any discussion which is not material to their religion. The report goes on to say, it cannot be said that the Jews have formed any denominational opinion on the subject of American slavery, end quote. But let's take a look at what they did, however, publish in their newspapers. We coming with receipts today, baby. This is from the Jewish Tribune, St. Louis, Missouri, November 10th, 1882. This article is meant to be funny. Ha ha ha. And in this article, they're mocking a dead, Sambo nigger, as they call him, who drowned in a river. See, these folks have a long history of mocking black folks, but there's more. According to Jewish historian, Dr. Michael Rogan, and I quote, immigrant Jews had pretty well taken over blackface by the early 20th century. Damn, blackface too? Blackface racism is already wicked, but to build a business to specifically support and advance race hate, as did the M. Stein Cosmetic Company, this is the very definition of institutionalized racism. Part of the reason many in the Jewish community don't want to acknowledge this wickedness is because they'd also have to acknowledge that they became rich off the backs of black folks. They'd have to also acknowledge their hand in the slave trade. Then our demand for reparations would be just that much stronger. Ye shall know the truth, and the truth shall most certainly set you free.